Hello! Today we will show you how to create realistic grass animation in Cinema 4D and Redshift. First, let's load the grass samples. Open the Asset Browser. Search for grass. Drag and drop several different grass samples into the Object Manager. To make the example simpler, we have chosen only two types of grass. And close the Asset Browser. Zoom in the default camera. and spread out the grass samples across the viewport. Now let's make the grass swaying. Select the first grass sample in the Object Manager and create a wind deformer as a child and in its location by pressing and holding the Shift button on your keyboard, clicking and holding on the Bend icon and choosing Wind from the pop-up palette. Go to the Object tab of the wind deformer Reduce the amplitude to 5. Reduce the size to 3 cm. And increase the frequency to 8. Go to the Field step of the Wind Deformer. Create a linear field by clicking on the linear field. And rotate the linear field minus 90 degrees around the z-axis by selecting the linear field in the Object Manager. Go into the Coordinate tab and set in the RB property to minus 90 degrees. Go to the Field tab of the linear field and reduce the length of the field to 20 cm. Go to the front view of the viewport and drag the field so that the bottom of the grass remains outside the field, which will make it motionless when animated. Return to the perspective view of the viewport Extend the timeline to 300 frames and press the Play Forwards button to test the animation. Change the camera position to view the animation from different angles. It's OK. To make the second grass sample also sway, copy the Wind Deformer to the second grass sample by dragging and dropping it into the second grass sample in the Object Manager while holding down the control button on your keyboard. Then open the Tools menu and select Reset Transform to align the coordinate axis of the second wind deformer with the coordinate axis of the second grass. It worked. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Increase the amount of the first grass two times so that in the final scene there will be more of this grass. For this, in the Object Manager, duplicate this grass by pressing the Control button on your keyboard and clicking and dragging the grass in the Object Manager. Now create a landscape object by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing Landscape from the pop-up palette. Go to the Object tab and reduce the height of the landscape to 30 cm. Zoom out the default camera to see the landscape. Add a base layer for the landscape. To do this, open the Asset Browser, search for Soil, drag and drop the soil.jpg onto the landscape in the viewport, close the Asset Browser, reduce the length U and length V of the material to 10%, Double click on the Material tag in the Object Manager, go to the Base Properties tab of the material and zero out the weight in the Reflection section. Let's clone the grass samples. Create a Redshift Matrix object by clicking and holding on the Cloner icon and choosing Matrix Scatter from the pop-up palette. Go to the Object tab of the matrix, change the mode from Grid to Object Drag and drop the landscape from the Object Manager into the Object field and increase the count to 2000. Now we see the matrices on which we will place the grass samples. To see the real Redshift preview, run the Redshift Interactive Preview Rendering by opening the Redshift menu, clicking on RS Render View and pressing the Start button. 
add a sky to the scene by opening the redshift menu, select an object and clicking on RS sky. Go to the sky tab of the sky object and set the intensity multiplier to 7. Select all grass samples in the object manager. Then select the RS object tag to the right of the RS matrix. Go to the particles tab. Change the mode to custom objects. And drag and drop the grass samples into the custom objects field. To adjust the direction of the grass, select the RS matrix in the object manager. Go to the transform tab and set the RP property to minus 90 degrees. To make each grass clone different in size and orientation, select the RS matrix in the object manager and create a random effector by clicking and holding on the plane icon and choosing random from the pop-up palette. Go to the parameter tab of the random effector, uncheck the position box, check the rotation box, set the RH to 360 degrees and RP and RB to 5 degrees. Check the scale box, set the SX and SZ to 0 0.2 and SY to 0 0.3. Press the play forwards button. As you can see, each grass element is unique in its size, shape and animation. Now let's simulate the effect of wind and wind gusts. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Select the RS matrix in the object manager and create another random effector. Go to the parameter tab of the random effector. Switch the transform space to effector. Uncheck the position box. Check the rotation box. Set the RB to 40 degrees. Go to the Effector tab. Switch the random mode to Noise. Set the animation speed to 20%. And start the animation. To increase the amount of grass, select the RS matrix in the Object Manager. Go to the Object tab and increase the count to 20,000. This is what we got after rendering. And now with a larger landscape. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.